Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Chris Profi, musically obsessed with vinyl CDs and cassettes. Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Oh yeah! Greetings from Poughkeepsie. Well, if you're as crazy as I am, you've probably already started to look at what albums are coming out in 2024. So I wanted to tell you guys some stuff that's already on my vinyl and CD wish list. And full disclosure, I might have pre-ordered a couple of these already. So here we go. In January, we've got Saxon's new record coming out called Hell, Fire, and Damnation. Really looking forward to this. I'm a big Saxon fan. Saw them live. Biff can still sing. And, uh, you know, they just keep coming out with quality releases. So I'm assuming Hell, Fire, and Damnation will be no different. In January, the Three Amigos soundtrack is coming out. One of my favorite movies from the 80s. Cannot wait to have that. Uh, what's cool about it, too, is it looks like there is dialogue from the movie uh, interspersed with the music, which will be uh, perfect to just crack up and laugh. I mean, Chevy Chase, Martin Short, Steve Martin, you can't go wrong. Um, also in January, we've got two Grateful Dead albums coming out that I'm looking forward to. Grateful Dead in the Dark, which uh, of course had the hit Touch of Grey, and Terrapin Station. Cannot wait to get my hands on Terrapin Station, put it on the turntable, and spin that puppy round. All right, February. Looking forward to Ace Fraley's new solo album called 10,000 Volts. And I just heard from my good friend Josh, JC, the Flipside Vinyl Community. He and I were chatting last night. White Lion is reissuing two of their albums, Big Game, which had the hit Little Fighter and also main attraction. So he and I were kind of going back and forth last night. He's already pre-ordered. I've already pre-ordered. And I told him, Josh, you and I have a sickness, but those are gonna be two great albums. And lastly, in March, Judas Priest's new album, Invincible Shield. The only thing is I'm not happy about the price of the vinyl. I think it's like over 40 bucks. Now it's a double record, but still, um, I'm probably going to pick it up, but not happy about the price. Maybe I should make a stand and say, no, I'm not buying that Judas Priest, Rob Halford. And lastly, in March, one that I'm really interested in is Bruce Dickinson's new solo record called The Mandrake Project. I heard uh, the first single, heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, I kind of wish Senjutsu sounded like that. But Bruce always comes out with great solo records, and I don't think the Mandrake Project will, uh, you know, not follow suit with everything else he's released. What are you looking forward to in 2024? Let me know. Bye.